Because oil is heavier than gas, it is more difficult for the oil to make the changes in direction. As a result, the oil droplets separate from the gas, collect on the baffles, and then drip down into the sump. In this way, most of the oil is removed from the gas. After the gas passes the last baffle, it flows through the wire mesh screen. Most of the small amount of remaining oil is trapped by the screen and then drips into the sump. The relatively oil-free gas continues on through the outlet. The next auxiliary device we'll look at is a mister. Air and other gases generally contain some moisture vapor. When gases are compressed and then cooled, the vapor often condenses into liquid droplets that can damage some type of automatic equipment. To prevent this from happening, moisture separators or demisters are often used to remove the droplets. This illustration of a demister includes a shell, a gas inlet line, a liquid outlet line, and a gas collector, which is connected to a gas outlet line. As moist gas enters the demister, it begins spinning. Because liquids are heavier than gases, centrifugal force causes liquid to separate from the gas and hit the shell. The liquid runs down the shell and out through the liquid outlet. The gas enters the collector and leaves through the gas outlet. Another auxiliary device that may be used along with a demister when extremely dry gas is required is a desiccant dryer. 